Well, welcome everybody back out here onto the Southport Golf Club. My name's Stuart Moore, the golf course superintendent. Today, I just want to touch on what the boys and myself have been up to this week. Before I get into all of this, I'd like to talk about the winter that's been. This winter has been one of the hardest, coldest, wettest on record here at the Southport Golf Club, and in fact, that on the Gold Coast itself. It has thrown up some challenges along the way, but the committee and most of the members have been so fantastically supportive of what we've endured. Round counts this year have been amazing through that winter period. Between January 1 and where we are today, we've had over 50,000 rounds of golf come through this facility. And 28,000 rounds of those particularly have been through that winter period, that wet, cold, very ordinary winter, non-growing period. So the traffic that we've endured, the wear and tear, the consistent wet, We've had some real issues out on golf course and the members have been nothing but supportive and very, very patient. Thank you very much on behalf of my team, myself, and of course, the Imagine Course Committee. Without your support and understanding, things can be very, very difficult out here, so thank you. You guys pay a premium, and it's my responsibility to see that that money and those funds that you pay each year are put to the best use possible. What I wanna to do today is talk about what's been happening here this week. Because of that winter period that we've endured, that wet, cold, non-growing winter period, we've had a lot of wear and tear. The sun is a lot lower in winter time, the shadows are further out, and if the ground is really, really wet like it has been, we get a lot of compaction, a lot of wear and tear on the course that doesn't really recover until we get into this spring renovation period. This is why it's so vital that we close the course this week and we get our coring, our top dressing, we get all those fertiliser, those amendments and that water, that sand into those areas just to regenerate all of that growth that we've lost through that winter period. You can imagine on a golf course as small as what Southport's is, you have a look at some resort courses in this area, Royal Pine, Sanctuary Cove, big, big areas of grass, big areas of property, big open spaces, not many trees, whereas we are very different. We're on a 47 hectare property, 100 acres for those that are using the old scale. What it means is we're putting through that 50 to 60,000 rounds of golf into a very, very small area. This is why this renovation period every single year when we close the course in November is absolutely vital. All of that wear and tear we have on some of the greens this year, particularly in winter time. Green number 16 out here had some trouble with the winter and the rain. We had some pythium and we had some other issues out on the golf course, which were a direct result of all of that wet weather. This year's renovations with the deep slicing, the coring, the scarification, it allows some oxygen, some decompaction, and allows for the rejuvenation with the warm weather that we're getting now to get back into all those areas that suffered and really bring them on through that Christmas period. So again, thank you for your patience. And for those that really do understand this closure for a week, whilst it is a little bit of an inconvenience, look, sometimes these things have to happen. It's a bit like work on the highways. We're heading off to holidays, we're jumping in our car, we get to a roadblock, we're sitting there. All we wanna do is get to our holiday. All you guys wanna do is get to your game of golf. We'll be getting these greens and the golf course back to where it should be as quick as we possibly can. Probably take two or three weeks, four weeks to get back absolutely perfectly. But I'm so excited about what we can do through this Christmas period. And leading into 2023, we've got some exciting events coming up, the Pro-Am and a few other events which we're talking to the powers that be about. We're all very excited going into the future.